Good morning you guys, welcome back to another More With Morrow's video. Today's video we're going to be tackling two separate things. We are going to be tackling the DIY benches for Brittany's table here and we're also going to be putting in the new uh, chandelier for the light that is above the table. I went ahead the other day and went to Lowe's and picked up everything that I needed for this bench. I think I also went to uh, Home Depot to get the four by fours because apparently Lowe's doesn't carry untreated four by fours. But anyways, you guys, I'm gonna get everything set up. I went ahead and pulled all the cars out of the driveway but this garage space kind of doubles as like my workshop slash garage. So with all that being said, I'm gonna get everything set up right now and then we're going to start laying out everything and I'm going to insert a drawing or rendering of what I'm trying to accomplish. Like I said, it, it, it doesn't seem too hard, but you never know. Like I said that with a lot of things like, oh, this ain't that bad. And it was actually that bad. So now that everything is set up, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get my rendering out and go ahead and start marking up this four by four to how high I want the bench to sit and then go from there about cutting some of those one by one pieces that I have that's going to go for the insert that's gonna hold everything together. So now that we have all four legs cut the same, I think it said for like in the drawing for them to be like seven inches apart and I think that's counting from the outside. All right guys, so what I went ahead and done it was cut a test piece to see how everything was going to fit in. And by doing that I learned a few things. I learned that it's going to have to be just a little bit smaller because these aren't real true two by fours I think. I've mentioned that when I was building the table that everything now is not true dimensional. So I had to just cut it down just a little bit smaller and it's going to fit because I measured all of the two by fours that I have together and it's a little over 14 and a quarter. The next step in this process is that after I got all these four by fours cut the same length, it's said to have the four by four space seven inches apart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one by and I'm gonna cut it to fit. So I want to go ahead and put these two the two legs together that way I have a good idea of if they're going to be extremely level or not that way I'm not wasting any more boards. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get out my Craig jig and set it up for the one by that way you can fit a two inch screw in so you want to put it in the middle of the four by four and I will show you guys that in just a second. So I essentially have two pocket holes drilled into this one by and it's simply going to connect the two right here. 
but I have to figure out the distance for the two by four here before I lay anything in. So that's what I'm gonna do now, and then I'm going to uh, drill this in. We got both sets of the legs finished. Now we are going to move to the inside inserts of the le of the legs that we're going to connect all four posts together. And then once that is finished, we're going to finish up with our two by fours. We're going to cut them to kind of fit everything. So we're almost there. We're almost kind of finished with this project. It kind of took me a little bit longer than expected because the space in between the uh, four by fours is not big enough for my drill. So the last one I kind of had to hand tighten. I, I cut, I'll leave in that footage, but um, now that you kind of will see the problem that I ran into, I'm going to keep that in this video. So I'm going to finish up the supports. I don't think I've been this happy for out this whole project. Like the inside pieces were a pain. I busted part of the one by at the bottom and now I am to this part right here. We have the base completely finished. It's nice and square. Now you will notice my little boo-boo uh, there. So I did mess up and I put, uh, I used my impact gun a little too much and I busted off the bottom part of that pilot hole so I had to do one from the top but it's all not going to be seen so it's okay um, I do have to now do the inserts for the two by fours I'm going to do the two middle ones first and then I'm gonna work on the two outsides So I just finished up putting together the, ooh, this thing is nasty. So I just finished putting together the bench and I absolutely love it. It is a very simple design, but once I put the stain on it, I really think that it's gonna pop out. So let me turn this camera around real quick and let you guys see it. But what I'm going to go ahead and start doing now is the staining process, which will take no time at all because this is not as big as the table so once we get this whole thing stained um it's done and i will give you guys a little time lapse of putting on all the stain and then we will do the final reveal at the end with the dining room table
So it's finally done. I know. What do you think about it? I love it so much. Are you sure? I do. No, I do. So the problem that I think I've kind of ran into is I didn't walk <laughs> Is I didn't quite make it as long as I wanted to, but it I still it works. But I'm gonna show you, turn the camera around and show you guys the finished product. So one of the awesome features that I really like about this DIY bench is that when you push it into the table underneath the table, it is completely covered like you do not see the bench at all and it kind of opens up our dining room just a little bit more now we do have the three chairs on the opposite side but it kind of makes everything look a whole lot cleaner and the lines are a whole lot better so i'm going to show you guys the final product with the light that i installed and the bench along with the table as well Scarlet. So that is going to be it for today's DIY bench project. If you guys really enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also comment down below what you think my next DIY project should be. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of More With Morrows. We hope to see you on our next video.